Hi, James Ma here, and welcome to Health Tube. Today I want to talk about five simple strategies that you can employ to help improve your sleep and feel a lot better for it. Let's get started. So, sleep. Let's talk about sleep. Sleep, I believe, is an absolutely crucial component of health, but unfortunately, it's widely disregarded. Sleep is much more than just feeling refreshed the next day when you have a good night's sleep. Sleep actually helps in the production of natural antioxidants in your body. It helps with the neural growth of your brain while you sleep, and it can prevent a raft of chronic diseases. So it's something that everyone should be really focused on as a foundation to good health. My first tip for improving sleep is to get some natural light onto your eyes first thing in the morning when you wake. And the reason for this is it helps kickstart the natural hormonal rhythms that will play out throughout the day so that when it comes to evening time, you're producing the right hormones at the right amounts to help you sleep. My second tip is to have a protein rich breakfast. The reason for that is melatonin is the crucial hormone to help you sleep and stay asleep at night time. Melatonin is made from serotonin and serotonin in turn is made from the amino acid tryptophan. Tryptophan is found most abundantly in meats and eggs. So I recommend avoiding the tea and toast breakfast because if that's what you're having, you're basically uh, denying your body the building blocks it needs to make the melatonin to help you sleep at night. My third tip is to avoid caffeine afternoon. Now the reason for this is caffeine will actually suppress your melatonin production and it has quite a long half-life in the body which means that any coffee, tea or other carbonated beverages containing caffeine drunk afternoon will suppress your sleep cycles through the evening. This also includes chocolate, even though it doesn't contain caffeine, it contains similar compounds which will also suppress melatonin production. My fourth tip is sort of a reversal of my second tip, and that is that you want to avoid natural light hitting your eyes after about 7 p.m. Now, most people will think that is easy because there's no sunlight after 7 p.m., but unfortunately, blue light is the wavelength in sunlight, and blue light is also what your backlit devices like iPads and iPhones and other smart devices emit as well. So when you're on your iPad browsing the internet at 8 p.m., what your body is actually receiving as a message is that it's broad daylight and it's time to suppress melatonin production. And that can set back your natural sleep cycles by two to three hours. Now, telling people to give up their backlit devices and not browse the internet in the evening is pretty much heresy these days. So there is a solution and that is to wear orange tinted lens glasses. And what they do is they block the blue light spectrum of light and allow you to still use those devices in the evening without suppressing your melatonin production. My fifth tip and final tip is to make your bedroom the most sleep conducive environment that you can. Now that obviously involves blocking out as much light as you can. I do recommend block out drapes if you can on your windows. And also you want to look to make sure you reduce the electronic devices you have in your room. Most will emit some sort of light and that can also keep you awake. But in addition to the light, any uh, electronic devices that emit electronic signals will also stimulate your body and keep you awake. Uh, alarm clocks can actually be one of the primary culprits in both producing light and putting out a signal that can keep you awake. I personally use my iPhone as an alarm, but what I do is I put it in uh, airplane mode so that it doesn't emit a signal during the night and that alarm will still work in the morning to wake you up. Okay, so I hope those five tips help you get a better night's sleep and make you feel much better and improve your health enormously from improving your sleep. Please, if you want more of these tips, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button in the top corner. Or even better, click on the link below to sign up for my five-part series on how to live a healthier life. Hope you feel a lot better and until next time, be well.